Hi, I'm Margie, and I'm a breast cancer survivor. Uh, by three weeks, I finished my treatment uh, three weeks ago. I was diagnosed a year ago, uh, April, and underwent uh, 17 weeks of chemo, two different types, uh, lumpectomy, and then six weeks of radiation. In addition, I received uh, infusions of a biomed to attack the HER2 positive uh, cells of the type of breast cancer I had, which took me then into July of this year. Uh, I live in Tenakee Springs, and I chose to receive my treatment at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. This is a place where my sister, who is a 20 plus year uh, breast cancer survivor, also received her treatment. And my mother, who passed away in 2015 from effects of uh, the metastasized breast cancer. My mom had also received treatment there at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. While I was um, receiving my treatment, another sister, I have seven sisters, so there are eight of us girls, so another sister was also diagnosed with breast cancer, and she received uh, some of her treatment there at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance also, and um, is now a survivor. Although all of us have had uh, breast cancer, all of it um, has been slightly different. And when genetic testing was done, we were not found to have the uh, breast cancer gene that so many people ask us about. Um, and why we all have um, gotten breast cancer, who knows? Um, but we have been able to deal with it. Uh, so. What I want to tell you about a little bit is um, receiving my treatment and where I was. It was um, really so much support from everyone that I know, uh, friends and acquaintances, past co-workers, really helped me through this difficult time. Uh, choosing to go to Seattle meant that I had to find some place to stay. I stayed most of the time with a cousin and her husband and uh, with a sister. Uh, there in Seattle, but I also um, stayed at the uh, Cancer Connection Organization's apartment there in Seattle. The Cancer Connection keeps this apartment there to make available to anyone from Southeast Alaska who is heading to Seattle for uh, uh, cancer treatments, diagnosis, um, maintenance, whatever. And I was able to stay there for a couple of months. <clears throat> And uh, I was so grateful to be able to have that uh, place to stay. It was during the worst um, of my uh, side effects from the chemo, and it was nice to not be in somebody else's home uh, when I was going through that. The apartment, of course, uh, was expensive, but actually it was less expensive than if I had been staying at a hotel, and my insurance did not cover um, a place to stay. So I was able, unfortunately, I had to ask friends to help uh, me financially during this time, and fortunately they did, and they came through and made donations directly to the Cancer Connection, which was then able to go against my cost of staying there. The apartment was in a wonderful building that had a lot of amenities, um, but some of the things about the apartment itself was that there was a washer and dryer right in there, and it was so completely, not just furnished, but um, ready just to, to stay in. It was almost like um, house sitting for someone because the kitchen had every amenity you can imagine. They had food, um, canned food, uh, spices, whatever. Um, the um, cabinet, the bathroom cabinet had, you know, bandages and... Um, uh, just uh, everything that wouldn't be outdated that you would feel comfortable using. Um, and I didn't have to worry about getting all these things. So I was very grateful to be able, one, to have a place like this to stay, and two, to have um, friends and relatives support me in this. Um, also during this time, I was working very hard on um, adhering to a, a pretty much a whole foods, plant-based diet, meaning that I was eating mostly vegetables, fruits, uh, beans, um, grains, nuts, and really avoiding as much meat and dairy as possible. 
and I felt for myself, and I know everyone is different, that uh, this helped me um, have less inflammation in my body and was better able to deal with the side effects of the chemo and to better fight the cancer. At the time of my surgery, it was found that the chemo had been very effective and um, the surgery, the tissue taken from the surgery was found to have no pathological sign of active cancer. Only 20 to 30% of the people who undergo the kind of treatment that I did have that success rate. So I, you know, very, um, I feel very humbled that I was able to achieve that. Um, during this time, uh, a young man from Juneau, Matthew Campbell, was also diagnosed with a cancer, a very rare, aggressive type of cancer. And I saw him a number of times at the Alliance with his mother, also receiving treatment and uh, connected with him and found his spirit to be just so uh, strong, his attitude, his love for life. And unfortunately, um, he did not um, uh, beat the odds and he succumbed to cancer a number of months ago. And I think of him often and want to live my life like Matthew, embracing life and doing as much as I can. He was a brilliant young man working on his master's degree. He was a musician. He um, was an avid hockey fan and player and gave a lot back, um, not only to his community, but also um, volunteering in Africa um, using his engineering skills. So um, with all this in mind, I am supporting the uh, Cancer Connection this year by virtually um, participating in Beat the Odds, and I'll do so in memory of Matthew and hope to raise funds and um, work to support the Cancer Connection and all they do to support our local community in our fights against cancer. Thank you.